Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the V10 Q1 wireless Bluetooth shower speaker. So this is an IPX5 waterproof Bluetooth speaker. It's advertised as having 10 hours of battery life, and it also has Bluetooth 4.2, so it has a range of over 30 feet. All that for about $14 on Amazon using the available coupon, so check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. It comes in a nice cardboard box and I like that because you can recycle it. So real quick, I just want to thank VTIN for sending me this device so I could review it. Thank you very much. In the box, we have a micro USB to standard USB charging cable. Looks like a little owner's manual, some warranty information, and then some safety information. And that's all that's in the box. Go ahead and get the speaker out of here. All right, so it has a really interesting feel to it. The back here is all rubberized. Very nice feeling rubber. And then you have this nice nylon strip that comes up at the top. And that seems to go all the way around the speaker right here. Very cool looking speaker grill with the nice V10 logo. This nylon is interesting. It does move a little bit. Kind of makes it cool. I guess you can hang that in your shower. You can hang that outside. Hang it to a tree or in your tent. It's pretty cool. Looking at the back now, we can kind of see the buttons that are available. It also has some little dimples that stick out. I guess that gives it a little bit of grip if you set it on a table or something. As you can see with the buttons here, it looks like we have four buttons. Looks like this is a power button. We have a pause and play button. And then we have a plus and a minus button. These are going to be your volume and track control. Looking at the right side of the device, we have this little flap that opens up. So this does have the capability of fitting an SD card, a micro SD card. So you could put music on that or podcast or something like that and this device would play it. And then you also have the charging connector, which is micro USB. So I just found this in the box. It was located under the speaker. This is a nice suction cup. So you would stick this to your shower wall or a window or something. And then you could just put the little nylon rope around it and it would actually lift the speaker. We'll see how that works. They do advertise this as being IPX5, which doesn't mean it can be submerged, but it can take some splashing from a garden hose or something or in your shower, obviously. So I do plan on testing that out. Now we've taken a closer look at the V10 Q1 wireless shower speaker. Let's go ahead and get it hooked up to my phone. We'll see how it sounds, and then we'll see how waterproof it is and what it looks like in the shower. So I'm gonna turn it on by holding on the power button just for a couple seconds. All right. You hold down the power button until you see it blinking white right there. That also made a noise. That means it's in pairing mode. It comes up on my phone as the V10 Q1. And we're connected. As you can see, it came with 70% battery life. I'll go ahead and get some music playing on Spotify. See how loud it gets. Turn it down with the buttons. The buttons on here are very responsive as you can see. And with the volume. If I hold down the plus or minus symbol, it'll actually change the track. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I have the suction cup installed on the wall. I'm just gonna hang up the speaker like so. We'll go ahead and get it playing and then I'll spray it with water and we'll see if it actually is waterproof. All right, so I sprayed it down pretty good. Still working great. Did get a little bit muted. The volume lowered when the water went directly into the speaker, but it drains out pretty well. So that wasn't like a long lasting issue or it wasn't permanently damaged. It does seem to hang up very well and the suction cup is definitely strong enough to hold the speaker. One thing that's a little bit weird is the way the speaker kind of tilts up because of the weight, because it's not balanced. So that's just a little bit strange, but I don't think that that's a problem. All right, so I have the V10 Q1 currently paired with my computer and all the audio you're hearing is coming through the microphone that's on the speaker. So hopefully this will give you a good idea of what the audio sounds like if you place calls through the speaker right here. All right, so that was the V10 Q1. I have to say overall, really like this speaker, especially for the price of around $16. First, the audio quality sounds great. It's very clear and crisp, but you also get some really good bass out of it. It actually vibrates a little bit, which is pretty cool. So that's how powerful it is. For a speaker of this size, I would say that it has a really good volume to it. It does get pretty loud and it's perfect for using indoors or if you're using it outside, I think anybody could hear it from about 30 feet away. So no problems there. The build quality is actually really good. You have a really nice 
rubberized plastic on the grill and then the rubberized material on the back. I actually dropped this from about five feet on concrete in my yard when I was testing it out. Not even one scratch anywhere that's visible. So that's really good from a build quality standpoint. When you're hanging it up in your shower, like I said, the water doesn't really do much. If it gets directly into the speaker, it's gonna muffle the speaker a little bit. But one thing that's a little strange is the way that it sits if you dangle it from this little rope. So it's just something to get used to. It's gonna kind of point up. But I really like this rope right here. I think it makes it really easy to hang it from anywhere in your shower. And like I said, when you're camping, you can also hang it anywhere. So it's pretty versatile from that standpoint. But it is a nylon rope, so if this wears out or breaks, you kind of lose the ability to hang it up anywhere unless you put a new rope around it. I found the buttons on the back to be very easy to use as well. You have four buttons back here. They're all very responsive and they're easy to find while you're not looking at it. So the Bluetooth compatibility definitely found the range to be over 30 feet, especially when you're outside. And also there's really no delay. I was actually editing videos with this speaker just to kind of test out the battery and I had no issues there. Speaking of the battery, I found it to be about eight to nine hours. It's actually strange on the box here. It says eight hours and then on Amazon it says 10 hours. I found somewhere in the middle to be correct. So you're going to get eight to nine hours. It does depend on the volume that you have this at. So if you have it at about 70% volume, you're going to get that eight to 10 hours there. Another thing I really liked about this is the ability to plug in an SD card. That makes it really easy for you to take with you if you're camping or somewhere where you don't have the internet. You can always just plug some music in there and then you can just listen to it as much as you want to. I think that that's really cool. Nice little added bonus. If you have any questions about the V10 Q1 wireless shower speaker, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find this at Zach Speaker on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.